thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Caitlin Sisney with your Asset Management Report. Today is Monday, March 31st. Morgan Stanley now owns 3.03% of Aberdeen Asset Management after first increasing its shareholding and then selling some shares a few days later. In addition, UBS Investment Bank now holds less than 3% of the company's shares, Thompson Financial reports. Company, company notifications show that Morgan Stanley increased its stake to 4.43% shares and then on March 25th cut its shareholding to 3.03%. The company said UBS Investment Bank increased its stake in Aberdeen to 3.42% shares on March 12th and then on March 14th trimmed its shareholding in Aberdeen to below 3% shares. A hedge fund run by Anglo-French manager Broussard and Galvadon uh, Asset Management is considering letting shareholders switch into the private version of the fund, Dow Jones reports. The potential move is designed to help narrow a 12% discount between the net asset value per share and the stock price on Broussard and Gavadon Holding. Broussard and Gavadon listed B&G Holding on Euronext Amsterdam in, New in November 2006 with 440 million euros as a way for institutions and wealthy individuals to access its SARC multi-strategy hedge fund. Though investment returns in the SARC portfolio resulted in an 8.66% gain for BNG Holding between the initial listing and February 29th, its shares dropped 7%. To remedy the situation, B&G Holdings said it is researching ways to let shareholders move all or part of their stakes into the unlisted SARC fund at net asset value. It is also seeking a dual listing in London. Standard Bank has won a specialist sub-Saharan African debt mandate from the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, a U.S. development finance organization backed by the U.S. government. OPIC has committed up to $100 million for the Standard Africa Development Fund. The fund will invest in external and local currencies in sub-Sahara Africa, excluding South Africa, with a focus on corporate debt. Investments will be subjected to a, a socially uh, responsible screening process. The firm is currently soliciting additional capital and is looking to launch the vehicle in the third quarter of 2008. J.P. Morgan Worldwide Security Services will acquire the institutional global custody portfolio of Nordea. Per the agreement, Nordea will appoint J.P. Morgan as global custodian for its internal institutional clients. The acquisition will also allow J.P. Morgan WSS to offer local depository services to in-country mutual funds through the establishment of new branches in Denmark, Finland, and Norway, while building its existing presence in Sweden. Nordea will retain its sub-custody franchise in the region. Following the acquisition, which is subject to regulatory approval, J.P. Morgan will double its current team of more than 30 to about 75. And that rounds up today's Asset Management Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click on our Asset Management channel online and read the latest developments.